motorcycle clothing story was started back in 1908. Barber's very first catalogue that year features the first oilskin suit suitable for motorcycling. Then, in 1936, John Barber's grandson Duncan Barber introduced a one-piece wax cotton suit. This was called the Barber International, and from there all the jackets evolved and the story begins. Developed specifically for the 1936 International Six Day Trials, the Barber International became so popular that it was worn by almost every British team right up to 1977. I started riding motorcycles in 1938. My first trial was on a Wolverhampton made DMW, Dawson Motors Wolverhampton, in 1948. International Six Days Trial was a premier event. It was all over Europe. Everybody that was invited to the selection tests were measured up by Mr. Duncan Barber and uh, his son John. He created the motorcycle business um, because he was very interested in southern motorcycling and he produced commercially the first motorcycle suit. This became an enormous success. In 1964, the International was worn exclusively by the American ISDT team, which counted within its ranks the legendary stunt rider Bud Eakins and his actor friend Steve McQueen. It's a beautiful jacket. I can feel proud about wearing it because I rode in the trial in 64 with Steve McQueen. He was a super film star. With us, he was just one of the lads, wasn't he? Yeah. The jacket evolved over the years with various details being added. The distinctive slanted left breast pocket was added in 1951 to allow the wearer easy access to maps. These features remain as iconic design elements in the collection today. In 1953, the international jacket was adopted as the official uniform by the Vincent Owners Club. Vincent was known as the maker of the world's fastest standard motorcycle. And to mark this link between the two businesses, the International was dyed black. For a female consumer, the motorcycling look is a very strong, sexy, confident look. Barbara International, I think, has probably got a raw heritage background, something that's kind of steeped in tradition. Um, I think that it's all about great cut. Definitely has that 60s thing running through all the different collections. Today, the Barber International range is worn by classic bike aficionados and fashionistas alike. Men buying into an adrenaline-filled escapism and women inspired by a more glamorous, fitted biker look. Styles and designs have developed over time with different contemporary fabrics sitting alongside the original wax cotton Barber International. This iconic jacket has inspired collections for both men and women that include not only jackets but a wardrobe of clothes to create a biker look that is loved worldwide. In November 2013, the first Barber International store opened in Piccadilly, London. More will follow worldwide as we celebrate our motorcycle heritage. Barber was and is the original and authentic motorcycle brand. Whilst many brands have aspired to this title, it has never been beaten.